Woodside, California, November 15, Reuters. U.S. President Joe Biden and Chinese leader Xi Jinping agreed on Wednesday to open a presidential hotline, resume military-to-military -military communications and work to curb fentanyl production, showing tangible progress in their first face-to-face -face talks in a year. Biden and Xi met for about four hours on the outskirts of San Francisco to discuss issues that have strained U.S.-Chinese relations. Simmering differences remain, particularly over Taiwan. In a significant breakthrough, the two governments plan to resume military contacts that China severed after then House of Representatives Speaker Nancy Pelosi visited Taiwan in August 2022. We're back to direct, open clear direct communication on a direct basis, Biden said. In addition, Biden said he and she agreed to high-level communications. He and I agreed that each one of us can pick up the phone call directly and we'll be heard immediately. But in a comment likely to irk the Chinese, Biden told reporters later that he had not changed his view that she is a dictator. Well, look, he is. I mean, he's a dictator in the sense that he is a guy who runs a country that is a communist country, Biden said. She told Biden that the negative views of the Communist Party in the United States were unfair, a U.S. official told reporters after the meeting. Biden and she came into the talks looking to smooth over a rocky period in relations that took a turn for the worse after a suspected Chinese surveillance balloon transited the United States and was shot down by a U.S. fighter jet in February. The White House said Biden raised areas where Washington has concerns, including detained U.S. citizens, human rights in Xinjiang, Tibet and Hong Kong and Beijing's aggressive activities in the South China Sea. Just talking, just being blunt with one another so there's no misunderstanding, Biden said. Military, Taiwanu, S. And China's militaries have had a number of near misses and acrimonious exchanges over the past year. After the pledge to renew communications, U.S. Secretary of Defense Lloyd Austin will meet his Chinese counterpart when that person is named, a senior U.S. official said. Biden and Xi agreed China would stem the export of items related to the production of the opioid fentanyl, a leading cause of drug overdoses in the United States. It's going to save lives, Biden said, adding he appreciated Xi's commitment on the issue. Under the agreement, China will go directly after specific chemical companies that make fentanyl precursors, a senior U.S. official told reporters. He vowed to trust but verify Chinese actions on the drug. The two leaders also agreed to get experts together to discuss the risks of artificial intelligence. A U.S. official described an exchange over Taiwan, the democratic island that China claims as its territory. China's preference is for peaceful reunification with the Chinese-claimed island of Taiwan, she told Biden, the U.S.